Welcome to my winter of 2023 EDC update. These are the knives and tools that I'm carrying on me every single day. And if you know anything about my carry, there've been some changes. So we're gonna kick it off with kind of the main knife that I've been carrying the most recently. And that is this in-pocket fixed blade from Pete's Pirate Life. This is Pete's first ever knife, which is really, really cool. It's got an S35 VN blade, micarta handles with the brass hardware, the brass liners, just kind of those cool brass accents. You can see here, it's got this really neat Pete's Pirate Life logo on it. So a little bit of billboarding, but it's not obnoxious. It's got this really rad kind of black stone washed finish. Overall, just a neat knife, just visually a cool knife, which is always nice to have a cool looking knife in your pocket. Comes with a Kydex sheath and an ulti clip. So I've been carrying this primarily in pocket on my dominant side, so just in my right pocket. And it's got really nice sheath retention. It's got a really nice thumb ramp here that allows you to get the knife in and out. And I have just been crushing on this thing. So generally in the winter, I do change to carrying a fixed blade a lot more often, but this winter, this knife has just been glued to my pocket and I'm really digging it. We're actually doing a ton of fixed blade product research right now because we're getting ready to put together a best fixed blade EDC video. The only drawback to the Pete's Pirate Life fixed blade is that they're not super readily available. Pete does these on a drop model. I think there were like two drops or like one and a half drops. He recently just did a folder kind of on that drop model as well. But if you get a chance to get your hands on one of these or if another drop comes up, highly recommend this fixed blade. Out of everything that we're testing so far, I think this is probably my favorite and that's why it's been glued in my pocket. Now, if you've been watching the channel at all, you know that recently I went to a new type of pocket organizer so I've got this Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro. I really dig the color of it. I really dig the construction of it. This is something that I bought as well just for some testing and I thought this was gonna get out of my pocket really quickly. And this is something else that's just been like glued in my pocket. I've been looking for ways to simplify my EDC. I like to have a handful of tools on me at any given moment. I do a lot of things. I mean, I'm working on old motorcycles, old vehicles, I'm rebuilding houses, I'm building cabinets, I'm making videos, I'm doing consultation, I'm doing all these random things all over the place. So I like to just have a couple tools on me just to be prepared, but I hate having a bunch of garbage in my pockets. So this Zip Pouch Pro has really helped with organizing all that. To give you a quick rundown on the things you've already seen before, I of course have my Nipex Cobra pliers. I believe these are the seven inch version. And these pliers are absolutely amazing. They're adjustable up to a really big bolt size. But the thing that makes them really cool is the way that they lock on the bolt when you're trying to utilize them is very similar to like a plumber's wrench. It's better than a pair of pliers and it's better than a crescent wrench. So I used to carry a mini crescent wrench everywhere I went, but now I'm carrying these uh, Nipex or Knipex or however you want to say it, doesn't matter to me, uh, pliers. And I'm really, really digging them. And they're like super affordable. You can grab a pair at like Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, wherever. Another one that you guys have seen a little bit of is this Big Idea Designs dual click pen. And you've got a titanium pocket clip, which is cool. You have the brass construction, which I really, really love. But mostly this thing is really fidgety. I was a little like, eh, I don't know if I want this, but it's just got a really nice, I don't know what the word would be, like if it's haptics or if it's just like sound to it when you're playing with it. It feels a lot like playing with an OTF. Really quick to go in and out. So I do a lot of thinking and I like to fidget when I think. I'm not a big fidget toy guy, but uh, I do play around with things, whether it's my pocket knife or something like this pen. So I've really been enjoying it for that reason. I was a little concerned about the size of it when I first started carrying it, but it turns out that the size of it actually is not prohibitive in any way. Uh, it fits my hand really well. I've got a medium sized hand and uh, it writes really well, fits really well. Big Idea Designs, as you probably know, they make amazing stuff. So that is the pen that I've been carrying. Now here's kind of our first upset when it comes to the different gear that I've been carrying. If you know anything about me, I'm a big fan of the Victorinox Compact. And you'll see here in my other secondary tool slot, I do not have my compact on me. And that is because I am trying out this Gerber Armbar Slim Drive. So it's just, you know, really simple. It's got a locking plane blade on one side, and then it has a non-locking but full-size driver on this side. That driver is magnetic, so you've got a number two Phillips here on the end, and then you can flip that, and then you've got a 
number two or just like a standard size, medium standard size head. That can be used a little bit like a pry bar. It's not a great pry bar. I'm not, I'm not recommending that you pry with this. I do a lot of prying for whatever reason. So you can utilize that way. This has been in my pocket a lot. No Victorinox Compact. I definitely feel a little naked without it, but uh, it's going to a good cause. And I'm actually enjoying this tool. It is actually a very useful, very good tool. So the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro is a great way to organize your EDC tools. I didn't think that I would like it, but I've actually fallen in love with it. So highly recommend it. I bought this with my own money. They're not sponsoring the channel or anything like that. We do have channel sponsors here on the channel and that's what makes it possible for us to make all these videos and get all this gear to talk to you guys about. So I wanna give a huge thanks to We and Civivi Knives. They're the sponsor of this video. They're a big sponsor of the channel and they are a big reason that we were able to go full time with this thing to begin with. So. Thank you, we and Civivi. We turned down a lot of sponsorship opportunities for the channel because honestly, people want us to shill or people want us to tell you guys something that isn't true about knives and gear. And we're just never going to do that ever. Like this channel just won't exist if that's where the channel gets for us to have to make it happen. And that's why we love partnering with we and Civivi. Not only are they personal friends of ours, but they are awesome to work with and they kind of just let us do our thing. You'll notice in this video, there's not a single we and Civivi product. And that's because we don't have to do that. They sponsor the video and we do what we want to do, which is is wonderful. Now, if we are talking about some Ween Civivi knives that I've really been digging on, specifically Civivi has been knocking it out of the park. The Civivi Voltaic, the Civivi Banneret, and that little Civivi fixed blade, the Circulus, I have been crushing on those and I think they are absolutely stellar. So if you guys like the people that support our channels and you guys like the channel, we've got links down in the description. We get no benefit from you clicking those links other than you're supporting partners of the channel, which is really, really great. We don't have discount codes. We don't get a kickback, none of that stuff. Just a clean link down there you can click and uh, check out what they have. Also, if you wanted to shoot them a DM and say, hey, thanks for sponsoring Zach and the Wild channel, that would mean a ton too and be super rad. So thank you, we and Civivi, and uh, let's jump back in it. Another upset that I have, if you know anything about what I'm normally carrying, is I have a different flashlight in my pocket. So I do carry a flashlight every single day. This is the Olight i3T EOS. I think this is a little bit of an older model. Really nice and slim. It has the hat clip pocket clip thing on it that I kept on it. I usually remove the clips off of my flashlights. And then it has my patent pending <laughs> hair tie that I have tied around uh, the light. And I do this on all of my lights. Now, I normally carry a Phoenix E12 light and I absolutely love that light, but I chose that light a handful of years ago and kind of just stuck with it. I think that's the light I've been carrying primarily for like three or four years. It's been a long time, maybe five years. I've carried that light for a very long time. I find pocket lights really, really useful. I don't like relying on my phone for a lot of things. And honestly, a lot of times I'm like in an engine bay or like under a house. So I'm putting this light in my mouth or using the hair tie, I can attach it to my glasses, which is another reason that I put hair tie on all my little flashlights. Knowing that I've carried that Phoenix for so long and knowing that there are a bunch of new flashlight options out there, I'm actually rotating a bunch of lights through my pocket and I'll be putting together kind of what I find from that as well because I've got a lot of experience with that Phoenix so I know what I like and uh, I'm trying to find some other stuff that is comparable. I will say uh, just you know spoiler alert uh, this Olight would not dethrone my Phoenix uh, at least not for me but I've got the Olight in my pocket I'm trying to work through my biases so that I can find some other cool gear that's out there and uh, bring you guys that information in a future video. Another good thing for the hair tie is uh, it's really nice to have a hair tie on you because it kind of makes you the hero if somebody needs a hair tie so a uh, little trick. I actually picked that up like in high school. I used to carry one and it would give me a reason to, to talk to girls. So <laughs> there's a little, uh, a little uh, pro tip for you on that. But I thought it would be cool to show you guys a folder that when I'm not carrying my Pete's Pirate Life fixed blade is kind of the folder that I'm starting to gravitate to. This is a brand new carry for me. Uh, but this is the CJRB Pyrite. It's just like a really great budget folding, flipping knife. It does everything really well. It's got a button lock on it. It's got a thumb stud, really great action, deep carry pocket clip. The Pyrite actually has a CJRB proprietary steel, which is AR RPM 9. So it's a powdered steel, which you don't really see usually in the budget world. This particular one is a DLC coated blade with the stainless steel handles. You can get it non-coated and you can get it with the G10 handles. Either way, you do get that uh, CJRB proprietary steel. And for 50 bucks, it's a pretty dang good deal. So 
The Pyrite is one that has been in my pocket recently uh, this winter, and like I said, I just kind of started carrying it, but uh, I think I'm digging it. I'm not a big stainless steel handles fan, but so many of you guys have been raving about this thing that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna throw up my pocket and gonna give it a shot. So this has been seeing a lot of pocket time uh, recently as well. Moving on from my knife, I do carry an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I got the bigger screen because I do a lot of work on the road from my phone. I'm not a big phone guy, but the reality of it is, is that our phones are very critical, important parts of our EDC. They do provide a lot of tools and a lot of entertainment. Um, I honestly try to stay off and away from my phone as much as possible. Just not a big phone guy. I didn't even own a phone until like five years ago. It's just who I am. But with the work that I do and everything that I'm doing, a phone is essential. So I do carry this phone when I absolutely have to. Uh, the one thing that makes carrying the phone a little bit nicer is I do have a quad lock case on my phone. Highly recommend this because like I said, phones are so integrated with us in our daily lives, whether it's you know in your car using it for music and maps or on your motorcycle using it for speedometer, which I use my phone for sometimes, or just like cataloging what you're doing, having a camera on you, all of the million of reasons that we carry our phones. The quad lock case makes it so much easier to carry. Now, they have sponsored something on the channel before. This is not a sponsored spot. I just legitimately love carrying quad lock. I've had quad lock on my phones almost since the first phone that I bought. I've been having quad locks. So really, really dig the quad lock stuff and they've got some new MagSafe stuff. So that was one prohibitor that a lot of people didn't want to carry quad locks case. So if that's your thing, quad lock, really cool, great phone cases. All right, another piece of EDC gear that I carry all the time, I'm just gonna be really brief because we just did an entire video on boot knives, is my Cold Steel Counterattack 2 boot knife. Great little knife. Great retention. Um, I use this knife for a lot of various things. It's nice to have a fixed blade on you at all times if I'm not carrying like my fixed blade in my pocket. Check out our boot knife video if you wanna get the whole philosophy around boot knife. So recently we were doing a video on knife storage and EDC storage and that video is coming out next week and we have some really cool storage options and I was kind of forced to go through all of my knives and EDC gear so that we could use it for the different setups that we were shooting to highlight those systems for you guys. And I realized I've got four kind of pocketable slingshots. Now granted this one from Huckberry is like not really pocketable, it's kind of big, but I've got four slingshots and I realized I'm not really good with a slingshot. So I'm thinking about just like integrating a slingshot into my EDC for a little while. Now, there is no practical reason to carry a slingshot. And what I mean by practical is there's not like a tool reason or a use reason, but I don't think there's anything wrong with just carrying something for fun, especially if it's not taking up a ton of space or you know being uncomfortable or inconvenient to carry. So I've got this top slingshot that uh, the band broke on a while back and I need to get a new band on it. So I've got that one. I've got this uh, Best Damn EDC one. And then I've got this kind of like, I don't remember the brand, but this is like a legit like slingshot slingshot, like competition slingshot. And of course the Huckberry one. So I think the top slingshot, I'm gonna start putting in my coin pocket, my watch pocket, my little fifth pocket on my jeans. And I'm just gonna carry it around for fun. I don't know if any of you guys have experience carrying a slingshot, but I see some of these old timers that are able to like throw up cans and like shoot them out of the air and shoot branches off trees. I think it's just a really cool skill. And I have no problem having something that's just a fun way to pass time and like grow a skill. So considering carrying a slingshot, I think the top's one I'm gonna re-up and uh, put in my coin pocket. So I'll keep you guys kind of up to date on just carrying something for fun and uh, having some fun with it. For me, the whole EDC philosophy is about being prepared, having some tools on you, being able to help people around me, and being able to help myself when I come into different situations. So these are the things that I carry in my pockets and on my persons all the time. I would love to hear what your guys' carry is currently. I'd love to see all the cool tools, all the cool knives, everything. So leave that down in the comments. And if you guys are interested in seeing what I carry in my EDC backpack, because it is a little more varied, I do have some more things in that that I carry pretty much every single day, let me know and we could do a video on that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.